For the first time in three and a half years, many of us are having to pay federal student loans, and those payments are back as of yesterday. ABC 22's Lily Sakaniwa tells us what you need to know. Pandemic era holds on student loan payments have expired. Now, 40 million Americans are on the hook for nearly more than a trillion and a half dollars in debt. Education is one of the most important investments that any individual can make. And, you know, one piece of that for many people is the student loan debt. According to the Department of Education, there are roughly 78,000 Vermonters with loan payments due to the federal government. For most borrowers, the total left is about $20,000. There is a small percentage of them that have a lot of debt, largely because they went to graduate and professional schools. Um, you know, we're concerned about all borrowers, but we know that those borrowers in particular um, will likely be struggling. Scott Giles is president and CEO of the Vermont Student Assistance Corporation. It helps over 42,000 borrowers each year. And for those who have trouble paying, there are options. We've been reaching out to as, as many Vermonters as we can saying, hey, if you're concerned about navigating this, haven't been able to get through to your servicer, or don't understand the options they've provided, we're here to help you navigate all of that. According to Fox Business, average loan payments will range between two to three hundred dollars, and financial experts expect to see people spending less, particularly in retail. In Winooski, Lily Sakaniwa, ABC 22 News.